Warframe is a free-to-play game on PC that has been out for nine years at this point. It's not out for mobile yet, but it is planning on releasing on mobile. And with that, it does have a premium currency, because obviously, as a free-to-play game, it needs to make money. So I did want to go over how really pay-to-win is Warframe as a game, and is it free-to-play player-friendly, or are free-to-play players just kind of going to have a rough time? The nice thing about Warframe is you can trade the premium currency, so it could always be worse, don't get me wrong. There's always a ton of options in free-to-play games to just play it completely free, so I'll talk about that a little bit, but we definitely need to talk about the pricing of Platinum, how it works, and how trading works in the game, and the cost of just everything that you can buy. But first, a word from this video's sponsor. If you've been looking for a truly AAA quality game available on your mobile device or PC, Raid Shadow Legends is for you. Use my QR code or links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. Raid Shadow Legends has been absolutely killing it as they've just celebrated their third anniversary as one of the top RPGs out there. Hundreds of heroes, tons of bosses everywhere so you can fight however you want. The newest faction, Shadowkin, if I may add, really cool looking, very edgy, would recommend. You can also check out the Doom Tower, which has over 120 different levels for you to conquer. And of course, I just have to mention the Hydra. It is a Hydra clan boss. Definitely would recommend joining in a clan and jumping on those clan bosses to get some of that sweet, sweet loot. I myself have been having a ton of fun just running bosses, either in my clan or just in general, while I'm making my way through the main campaign. And the nice nice thing about it is I can constantly make my characters stronger, so I'm almost never waiting for progression. And there's a ton happening in Raid this month as well. There's the Path of Light event, in which it's a great opportunity, grab some more loot, you'll get awesome new champions, and a set of skins for the amazing Trunda Guilt Mallet this month. But wait, there's more! Raid's currently running a special Deliana Chase event, where new and existing players can log in and get their hands on Deliana, the amazing legendary champion. Log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and July 20th, and you'll get her for free. The gifts keep coming. All new players, listen up. Once you're in game, just enter promo code MYDELIANA to get 50 XP brews to max your legendary hero, Deliana, to level 50, as well as tons of silver. Promo code is available from May 23rd to July 20th. Seriously, there's never been a better time to get started. If you use my link or scan the QR code right here, new players will get a free starter pack worth almost $30 to kickstart your game. We're talking a free champion, Terrell, 200k silver, an XP boost, one energy refill, and the one ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game. You will find these rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. Thank you Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. So Platinum is the premium currency that you see just up here. Warframe's premium currency. You click on it and the Platinum store will open in your browser. From there you get that little Platinum store pop-up and it shows you all of the pricing, right? And PC players can get a login discount on these platinum pricing here. So generally, if you play the game regularly, once in a while, you can get a 50% platinum discount. You can get a 25% platinum discount as well. And on the rarest of occasions, you can get a 75% platinum discount or the platinum here, meaning you can get 4,300 platinum plus mods for $50 Canadian sometimes, but more likely $100 Canadian sometimes if you're doing it here. But they also all the time sell packs like the Chrysalis Emergence Pack here, which if you hit more info, it just tells you all of the loot it contains. Some in-game goodies, like straight up pay to win stuff that you won't have to farm for, right? Uh, boosters, you can consider those pay to win, but it is usually pretty common for free to play players and games to have boosters. You can also obtain boosters in game and through events very occasionally for free, so keep that in mind. But yeah, you can definitely look at these as pay to win because you're buying a pack and just straight up getting Warframes, weapons, loot. You don't get all of the mods or all of the resources to make everything insanely strong, but this is a step of pay to win. But it's a free to play game, so it is to be a little expected, right? 
And this one's only $7.99, no platinum, just items. So yeah, definitely something to think about there. From there, the pricing gets different. More packs, more packs, more packs. You can get even more platinum, $2,625. For $82 Canadian, you can get $145 Canadian, $39.90, definitely better value than that off the bat, but that's because people buy these usually with the discounts. So that is the general pricing model of the premium currency. Now, Warframe has many little time gates. There's time gates for things like Planes of Eidolon, Shop Refreshes, items such as Umbra Formas. You can only get Warframe and Weapon Slots on certain occasions through like Nightwave Refresh and Alerts. So it does 100% lock progression and slots behind Platinum and certain progression just waiting if you are free to play don't get me wrong you can take a look in the general ship here see that there's a lot of things you can just spend platinum on you have the foundry right here you can build any number of things at once but you can also when you're building something always speed it up for a platinum price I wouldn't recommend it, but you can. But I mean, you can build 75 guns all at once, right? It does not matter. You can build everything if you truly want to. So I wouldn't recommend rushing, but people like to do that. You can buy, I'm pretty sure, every single Warframe and weapon in the game as well. There's everything to buy in there, but the biggest area you can just search to buy stuff is the market. Every open world hub has certain shops where they sell items, decorations, etc. for platinum. They sell progression and items for platinum, right? Boosters, bundles, straight up buying void rigs, warframes, the packs. That's all just out in the open. We can see everything that costs money here. Tenogen is all skins so this is all understandable fair enough you can just straight up buy them with money i think console can buy them with platinum that's understandable every free to play game should have a ton of skins for everyone to buy there are the bundles here these can give you warframes weapons things like aura forma just straight up ah let's see if there's any umbra formas in here i don't know if there is any more there are Umbra Forma? No. But Umbra Formas are a pain in the butt to get, and it's one of those items that is item or time locked. But Forma and other items such as these are also pretty heavily time locked, so you can just straight up buy them here. It is a form of pay to win, for sure, for sure. All the things like decorations and cosmetics, such as all of these skins and colorings for your Kubros, you know, that's all well and good, understandable. If we see primary weapons, though, you can buy every gun, like almost every single primary. You can just go on a purchasing spree buy every primary you want pretty much you can buy just everything in warframe you still have to level it up you'll still have to figure out how to get resources for certain things but yeah you can definitely buy a large portion of just items in warframe right 265 platinum 240 platinum it's important to remember though you can build the blueprints and all of the weapons and warframes and etc for free you're not really locked behind purchasing anything other than just waiting for slots and just waiting for certain things like that but you can always in the foundry have things built and building and on a constant rotation of mastery rank mastering something selling it and then picking up your built item in the for in the foundry you can use the foundry as a sort of backpack for built items if you did not know items that are built do not get deleted out of the foundry but because you can buy every weapon and pretty much yeah every weapon warframe etc in the game you can gift almost all of them to people it's definitely looked at as very pay to win in that regard, right? There's just a lot of farming you don't have to do. It's not not really like, I don't think you can buy every single weapon in Warframe. Well, maybe Warframe, but I don't know if you can buy every single weapon. You can just buy a metric ton of them. And that's definitely, uh, definitely not like a good thing. It's just because it's understandable for a free to play game if there's a lot of adults who play it. People have jobs, people don't have time to farm hours for like 
weapons and warframes so i mean that's why it, it's it's there it's not like there's any ranking or competitive system in warframe whatsoever that actually matters right you can do long runs and you can do leaderboard runs but you don't ever need to so that's why that's yeah, the biggest pay to win stuff right there is just straight up the weapon Warframe bundles, weapons themselves, Warframes themselves, like look at all of it, oh so so much. You can also just get all the cosmetic and cool bundles, these not pay to win, understandable. These ones are all cool, they just give you cosmetics, it's fair enough, fair enough. The weird thing about it is you can just straight up buy mods and endo, but it is at such a terrible rate that if you wanted to purchase all of the endo from the market, or sorry, yeah, from the market here using platinum, you'd be spending hundreds of dollars just to max out a handful of mods when you can just spend an hour or two farming depending on how effective you are. So Warframe doesn't really have great value. Maybe some of the uh, mod bundles are better value for you early on just to be easy, but these aren't really good value items here. And this is super pay to win in the worst way possible. They should delete these two things like the endo out of the market. Like this should not exist in the market as this is only things people buy to meme each other and gift each other in the game usually. So I just would not recommend that. Like you have landing crafts, fair enough, components. Some of these components just straight up are kind of pay to win because they're heavily, heavily time gated. You can farm up a billion forma blueprint, but it's not easy to get the formas themselves. So a lot of this stuff is time gated heavily and it's a pain to get. Arcwing launcher segment blueprints not pay to win. You just need to join a clan. The value of buying stuff like alloy plates should also be taken out of the shop. It's absolutely terrible. Because imagine, I can buy 1500 alloy plates for 30 platinum. Terrible. I have a million 60,000 alloy plates. If I could like sell this to the market for platinum, I'd be rich. You can just see the terrible conversion value that's already here. And there's so many separate items that you can buy, like nanospores, neurodes, neural sensors, ugh. Orkin catalysts and reactors aren't too bad. Those make sense to buy for platinum once in a while as they're one of the more premium resources in the game. But just the general resources are terrible value and are 100% a scam, a pay to win scam if you buy them from the store. So just don't, don't do that guys. Just don't, save yourself some trouble. Don't do that. Slots right here, this is where the real annoyance come in. You can get occasional slots in the game just by playing the game, waiting for timed events, etc, etc. But it comes in real slow. So you're going to want to have to pick up a ton of these if you want a good array of just everything in Warframe, right? That costs a lot of platinum, hundreds if not thousands to get enough for you to feel comfortable. And that's a huge pay to win pain in the butt. The market just has so many different areas to buy buy things and just so many of the equipment areas are just not a good idea to buy, right? Just not a good idea. But you can always trade platinum. So that's why it's not really that bad and honestly very good for free to play players, even if trading can be kind of a pain. You can always straight up go to the open market over on Maru's Bazaar on Mars. There's an open market on Maru's Bazaar here, on Mars, one or two, usually one, and you can just go and try to trade people, talk to them in chat, etc. There is no auction house in Warframe, so it is kind of a pain. People usually trade primes, relics, etc. And you can always check trading chat, where is it, down here, to see generally what people are buying and selling. You can use websites like Warframe.market to see general pricing. People buy and sell primes, people buy and sell uh, t t ribbons, look at all of the prime uh, warframes they're selling, prime mods, like arcanes, they sell and buy, uh, what is it, relics, uh, trash ducats for, or sorry, trash primes for ducats, there's a billion different things people are willing to buy and sell, so 
keep that in mind if you're a free-to-play player and looking to get ahead in the game as trading is the way to go for those premium resources. Other than that, everyone, thank you all for watching. This is the end of video, so subscribe, check me out, use the Epic Game Store creator code Pupsker if you want to support the channel, and follow me on every social media such as Twitch as I just do stuff online whenever at this point. So, thank you all for watching and supporting the channel, and I will see you next time. Peace.